globally, the market for aquaculture looks really good. You know, it's the fastest growing sector of agriculture. Yeah. Um, and so the challenge for them kind of fits perfectly within the idea of phytate destruction because we're uh, seeking to replace more and more of the, the fish meal component of our diets with plant-based materials. Mm -hmm. And so part of that needs to be that we address uh, with enzymes some of the indigestible portions of the diet. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, some work that we've done in the U.S. catfish industry on mm -hmm. phytase superdosing. So phytase is not really a new concept to catfish, but the superdosing levels have never really been tried before, so we've had some really exciting results breaking down phytate, but also recovering all, all, all sorts of minerals, and mm -hmm. it's, we're seeing benefits with anemia and uh, with disease that were unexpected. Kind of a fascinating story of how we got into uh, phytase superdosing kind of through the back door looking at health effects and mineral effects rather than through the, the traditional um, approaches to looking at, at phytase. We feed um, uh, mostly a plant-based diet. Really, we're the, one of the poster children for where aquaculture is going. A lot of emphasis on the sustainability side, getting the fish meal component out of growing fish and getting it into plant-based um, components. And that has um, some very interesting effects on, on how much phytic acid we have in these diets, which is just through the roof. Another issue that has been increasing in prevalence in our industry is uh, feed-related anemia. And so there hasn't been a, a good explanation uh, for, for these different cases of anemia that, that periodically pop up, but we, reading the literature and uh, talking to, to various scientists, you know, looked at the link. Is, is there a potential link with what we would hypothesize as very high levels of phytate in these diets and um, its potential to bind iron and could that be causing some of the issues that we're having? So the first thing that we wanted to look at, this potential connection between uh, high phytate levels and some of the anemia that we've been seeing. What is the effect of feeding the uh, phytase superdose diet versus just a controlled diet in fingerling uh, juvenile catfish? And this can be particularly critical, and anemia can be particularly critical, maybe more so than in terrestrial livestock in aquaculture, because we have these tremendous swings in dissolved oxygen in our ponds. And so the first thing we did was taking our fish off of a, a, that high protein, uh, high fish meal starting diet. We switched them either onto the, a phytase amended uh, diet or onto a controlled diet. And so you can see in the control diet, very rapidly the hematocrits began to decline. And we took this out to 12 weeks before we terminated this first little study. And so um, whereas with the phytase treated fish, they remained um, stable. And this little dotted line represents what, based on previous um, research, represents a um, ideal hematocrit in channel catfish. We would expect, based on that hematocrit and using hematocrit as a proxy of, of iron levels, that there would be an iron effect or that we're now uh, absorbing more, more iron and other key minerals because of this phytase superdosing. And sure enough, that's what we saw in this initial tank study. So this is presented as percent increase over control. The one that really jumped out at us, so we saw almost 90% more iron in the livers of the phytase treated fish and uh, about 20% in the blood. We saw significant gains in um, several of the different minerals, iron and zinc being the ones, and we've done this in three other studies since then, that really um, seem like we're showing the most benefit with uh, phytase superdosing. The next steps in, in my research uh, specific to the, the catfish industry, you know, we've, we've just gone over the top of the existing diet and we're seeing gains back in minerals and um, improved performance, but we really need to, to slow down and, and go back and look at are we at the optimal dose, how do we balance, um, get dietary electrolyte balance and kind of optimize everything. So. The, the phytase should largely pay for itself if we take the time to go back and look at calcium and phosphorus and iron levels that we're putting into the diet right now.